Hello friends and welcome back to She's in Her Apron. We just recently had our spring break and my sister and her sweet family came out and visited. We had a great time, we ate a ton of food and they were here for Easter. So we had a hunt, an Easter dinner and all the meals. So I thought I would take you along in this video, share our Easter meal, all our other meals and so this is going to be a long cook with me. So join me today. So tonight for dinner with everyone here, I am baking up some chicken thighs. We have bone in, skin on, and boneless, skinless thighs on this tray here. And I just added a ton of seasoning. I overloaded them with seasoning and then they'll bake in a 420 degree oven for 20 minutes, flip them another 20 minutes, and then flip them again for another 20 if it needs it that long. So I am using onion powder, seasoned salt, garlic powder, garlic jalapeno seasoning, lemon pepper, and paprika. But I will say, I wish I added more of the garlic jalapeno on because it was so good. And then on a second tray, I have some sliced up and with some broccoli that I needed to use up. And I'm seasoning this with olive oil or you can use avocado oil, garlic salt, this yummy vegetable seasoning that I grabbed from a local store, and ground pepper. Oh, look at this chicken. This will look so appetizing on the parchment paper, but let me tell you, this was mouth watering. We loved it. The seasoning was so good, but like I said, I wish I added a little more of the garlic jalapeno, but oh, it was so juicy. It was so yummy. And then the vegetables came out perfect. They were nice. The Brussels sprouts were nice and crispy. The broccoli was perfect. It was so good. And then I had a loaf of garlic bread that we put some butter and some garlic salt on and toasted that up. And then I made a fruit salad with some bananas, apples, strawberries, and blueberries. And it was a yummy, yummy dinner. Easy, easy sheet pan dinner. These are my favorite, favorite meals. And stay tuned, I have a sheet pan video coming up for you with some yummy recipes. And there's my plate, so good. Look at that. Oh, that chicken was so good. Did I say it was good? Because it was so good. Good morning. Today we're having our homeschool Easter party here at our home. So we're starting off the festivities with tissue paper kites and we're using straws to create the structure of them. I found this idea on Pinterest, of course. So as the kids are making their paper kites, I went out and hid all the eggs. All the kids brought 10 eggs for us to hide. So all the kids got 10 eggs eggs each. And then for refreshments, I just had some Easter sugar cookies, frosted. Of course, they were from Walmart and just a simple fruit tray and a veggie tray. Outside, I had some games set up. This is cornhole. That was fun for the kids to do. We also had the basketball hoop up and I had some other really fun activities for the kids. So it was a good morning. Okay, so that night, my sister and I filled up the kids' Easter baskets, but we used these bags. Easter Bunny, you know, ended up using these bags and filled them up full of candy and um, just had them out with name tags for the kids. I grabbed these bags at Michael's. Good morning, friends. It is Easter morning. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter. We did. So we started off the morning with hiding the eggs. We were, we're gonna do the egg hunt later. So I'm starting on some breakfast and I'm gonna cook up two pounds of this bacon and this is from Sam's Club. This is the member's mark. It's really, really good. So I'm going to fry that up and get going on I'm some I'm making pancakes. more than usual so that way we have them in the refrigerator for the kids to grab all week if they want to. All right, it's time to menu plan for Easter dinner. I want to write everything down. That way I don't miss a beat on anything. So, of course, the star of the show is the ham, deviled eggs, green bean casserole, mashed potatoes, lemon cake, and then my mother-in-law is making her yummy breadsticks, and I hope to share it with you one day, some jello and a green salad. It is 10 till noon, and I'm going to put our ham in. It's from um, Walmart. It's the Sam's Choice Spiral Cut Brown Sugar Double Glazed Ham. This is our favorite favorite ham. I also really enjoy the ham that Costco does, but this one is delicious. I already put some pineapple juice at the bottom of my slow cooker. There's a recipe. I have a whole video on how to do 
a ham in your slow cooker and that recipe had me put brown sugar at the bottom but I'm not going to do that this time I'm just going to add the pineapple juice put this in put some brown sugar on top and more of the pineapple juice and pineapples in it all right that bone is right there there is no cutting it so we'll wrap it in aluminum foil I'm not leaving the house I would not suggest you cover it in foil and then leave your house so whenever I make a ham with foil there's someone home so I did put the pineapple juice more pineapple a little more brown sugar on top a few cloves in poked through so now I'm gonna cover it with foil and it's gonna cook on low until 4 4 30 I think we're eating at 5 so that'll warm it right through okay I'm about to make our favorite cake this I love to have at Easter and Mother's Day so I really don't make it a lot because I just want to keep it special and it's just so good so it's luscious lemon cake so I'm gonna need a box of yellow cake mix yellow right here bam yellow cake mix and then I'm going to need some jello lemon flavored jello um, there's pudding but I have pudding but I need the jello jello there's a lemon jello and then you're gonna need a box of instant lemon pudding which I have right here yum all right let's start making this so a full detailed video on this cake is linked below you seriously will love it so you're basically following your cake mix like it says on the box with your oil and your water and your eggs so you'll prepare as normal Then you're going to grease two round cake pans. And separate the batter into the two pans. And bake according to the directions on the box. As this cools down, I'm going to prepare the jello mixture. While that is baking, I'm filling up my Insta Pot with a ton of eggs. Whatever I don't use for deviled eggs, then I will use in the mornings for our breakfasts. I high pressured these for four minutes. Now I'm just filling up a bowl of iced water to place the eggs in. I did let them sit in my Insta Pot. If you could see the dial there, it says eight minutes, slow release. But now I'm gonna give them a nice ice bath. What's the rules, Dad? Yeah. There's like 16 or something eggs per person. Oh. There's silver eggs. Now, for the older kids, if you spot a silver egg that's just easy to spot, that's probably for the younger kids. Your, yours, guys, is going to take some work. Those are the ones with money in them. All right. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one silver egg. Is there a golden egg? Later there will be there, a golden later egg. Today, or is there there's like... a golden egg. There will be two golden eggs actually. Those ones have the most moolah in them. So Are they here right now? Nope. Today. Nope, they're bad. They're later. So the biggest rule is what, Kenzie? Nope. Peek. Well you can peek all you want now. Have fun, go find them. Go! Go, go. Yeah. here we go. Well, that was a ton of fun. Now back to the cake. So I am dissolving the sugar from the lemon jello box into, I think it's two cups of hot water, if I remember correctly, whatever um, the directions had said. So definitely refer back to that cake recipe, that video. So I'm going to dissolve it in the hot water. Now that it's done, it's going to cool just a bit because it's really piping hot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke the cake 
with holes all over it so that when I pour the jello mixture over the cake, that yummy lemon flavor seeps all the way through. Now, if you remember from last Easter, I messed up on this cake. It was a sad, sad sight. My cake was falling apart. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Today on She's in Her Apron, I'm gonna show you on purpose a horrible way to make a cake. I think it's because I did two boxes of jello instead of one and I had way too much and it was not soggy but it was too moist and it was falling apart. So I'm hoping that today it'll go better than it did last Easter. I still ate it. It was still delicious but I think that was the problem. Then I'm going to add these pans into the refrigerator for up to three hours while it sets. While that's doing that, I'm starting on the deviled eggs. And I do have a full video on how do I make my deviled eggs. That will also be linked below. In my mixture, I use garlic salt, dill relish, and mustard, just a tiny bit. Then, it's not a secret, but it is a secret when people are like, what is in your deviled eggs? Besides the relish, it's a great onion juice in, and some yummy bits of onion also fall in there. This changes the whole thing. It's delicious. And then on top, I sprinkle some paprika and parsley. And then these will sit in the refrigerator until dinner. So now I'm starting on some green bean casserole. I'm doing the old fashioned kind. I wanted to do my homemade version of it, but I didn't have enough green beans like I thought I did. Trust me, you're gonna love it. So Ashley's telling me that there is a cream of mushroom with roasted garlic and her hubby made it and it was good. Like way better? Oh, it was, oh yeah, you can't go, you can't go back now? No, I can, but it's, it's really, really good. Okay. If you like garlic. Oh, and heck yes. We like garlic. Now it's time to make the pudding frosting for the cake. Again, the recipe for this is down below. It is so good, you guys. I could just eat the frosting with a spoon. It's that delicious. It, the frosting by itself is a dessert. That yummy, creamy, pu lemony pudding. I mean, seriously, grab a spoon and enjoy. So it's time to set up the tables and both of these tablecloths are from Joann's. I picked these tablecloths up at Joann's in February. Of 
vinyl tablecloths. They're beautiful. So we're sending up two tables. One is the kids table and one is the grown ups table. And everyone that has to sit at the kids table is really upset. <laughs> everyone wants to be at the big table. I remember feeling that way when I was little. Now time for dinner. The ham turned out beautifully. It smells amazing, you guys. So what I ended up doing was turning it to warm after a while because I didn't want it to overcook. I've actually overcooked a ham before. So during the process, I turned it to warm and then right at the end, turn it back on low because I did not want to overcook it. And it turned out perfect. time to serve up that cake. Everyone was excited for it. My sister was really excited because she has never tried it. And while I was cutting, I was doing fractions with Shaylee. <laughs> so we were having a little bit of a math homeschool lesson while cutting the cake. It was awesome. Oh, I would kill for a piece of this cake right now. Look at the lemon, so good. Um, the older kids are looking for two golden eggs and there's still a silver egg out there. It's kind of funny watching them because they're just kind of like glancing over. They're not like getting in and... They can go play. Man, we'd be flipping tables and... <laughs> oh, I have the whole backyard. Take it apart. <laughs> Coley, I'll tell you this. You gotta work for it. Every single one of you have passed both of them. What? Come on, Boston. Come on, Boston. Come on. How many silvers? He's past it. We got the one right here. Whoa! So after dessert, after the golden egg hunt, we went for a walk. There was an Easter display in the neighborhood with posters of Christ's life. And each poster behind them had some eggs with a scripture reference in there, a quote. So you could go for a walk and each family can pick an egg from each poster. It was beautiful. It was such a great idea for Easter. Okay, did a Sam's Club order. We're having a cookout slash barbecue, whatever you want to call it. I grew up with it called a barbecue or cookout. Bananas, but they are not ready for the fruit salad. But I've got two more bananas left that I will use. Lettuce for the burgers. Lemons for our lemon water in the mornings. Two packages of lettuce. I'm having my burger in a lettuce wrap. Blueberries, strawberries. We're gonna make a fruit salad. And they didn't have a veggie tray, so celery, carrots, and mini cucumbers. Then we have their grapes. Love those. So good. Red and green. Tomatoes. And buns. Hot dog buns and burger buns. We also have in the fridge and freezer hamburger and hot dogs that we ordered. And then we stopped at Harmon's for, I wasn't sure if I was all out of elbow. And then I got a gluten-free elbow I want to try. Some relish and another gluten-free pasta that we're going to try. But I needed relish for tonight. Oh, and a pineapple to have with the fruit salad as well. So we're having a good time. So join me as I cook. 
Now it's time to make a macaroni salad. I know I've shared this recipe with you before on the channel, but I wanna share it again. It is so yummy. It's really basic, but it's a hit every time. So you just boil up some elbow macaroni, and then to your bowl, you're going to add a can of tuna fish drained, chopped red onion or regular white onion or yellow onion, and chopped green peppers. I eyeball this. I don't measure it. I just go by the look of it. I add salt and pepper, and then I add Miracle Whip. Yes, you can use mayo, but with this salad, I grew up with Miracle Whip, and to me, it just tastes so much better with Miracle Whip. Give that a mix, and you have a very yummy, summery macaroni salad. Like I said, this is tradition in my family. I grew up with this, and to me, this is spring and summer right here. Next, I'm going to make a fruit salad. All those yummy fruits that we just bought. Look at that, isn't that scrumptious? So now I gotta work on the condiments for the burgers. Tomatoes, onions, and lettuce. I'm slicing the tomatoes and I'm slicing the onions and I'm also chopping up some onions for the hot dogs. On the burgers, Derek does just on the top layer some onion powder, garlic salt, seasoned salt, black pepper, and some red pepper. And it's always delicious. So for dinner tonight, we are barbecuing up some chicken, having some s'mores over the fire. So I have two bags, and they're both filled half with chicken drumsticks and half with chicken thighs. So one bag will have this zesty Italian by Kraft, and the other will have some of the sugar-free barbecue sauce in, and it'll marinate all day long, and then we'll get them on the grill. These Ziploc bag holders will be down in the description box for you. Give it a little massage. Mm -hmm. Does that feel good? <laughs> you could use one of those. <laughs> I hear you. All right, barbecue chicken is ready.
All right, we got our Italian chicken marinating and our barbecue chicken marinating. And we'll save these for basting. And now we could go have some fun on the rest of our spring break with family and dinner will be ready to get on the grill when we're back from having fun. All right, Derek's starting the grill. This bag is the barbecue chicken. Slow and low. Oh, it's gonna be so good, you guys. Paige! Hi! They are smelling that chicken and they're going crazy. Huh, Zoe? Huh, Zoe? Yeah, I'm going in that smell. Huh? <laughs> All right. There you go, pumpkin balls right there. We also got wood for that fire. I can't wait to get that going. It's a beautiful day. We were supposed to have the fire during the cookout with the hamburgers, but the wind was terribly strong. So we had to bail out on that. Mm, yummy. I think Uncle Tommy has some meat on his fork or he's got some food because these two pups are like, excuse me Uncle Tommy, I want what you're eating. It's a vegetable, guys. Celery. It's, vegetable. it's just celery. Sillies. Oh, good catch. Mm, get in my belly. A little bit. Giddy up, JJ. All right, with the chicken, we're doing leftovers. We still have a ton of macaroni salad. I just dumped the extra fruit salad in this bowl, but then added more strawberries, blueberries, and bananas. And then we have all the veggies that are cut up and the chicken. And, and then we're having a fire with marshmallows and all the yumminess. Ooh, Shaylee, that looks good. I love the bananas. Yes. Mm. Yum. Getting it going. Stuffed puffs, they already have the chocolate in them. This could be either really good or really bad. Let me know if you've tried these. The younger girls have built a fort and they've been hanging out in this for two days. So I think they get to sleep in it tonight and it's their last night. They've been having a good time under here. Spring break has been so much fun with them here. So yeah, gotta build a fort with the cousins. Thank you so much for joining me friends. I hope you had a good spring break. I hope you had a wonderful Easter and I will see you soon, bye.